today I want to tell you about one of the biggest scams that I've ever personally witnessed in Albion's history. I know there probably might be bigger scams, bigger heists, bigger guild thievery, but this one is just a massive, massive scam that a very large amount of people fell for, and I'm going to tell you all about it. And no, it's not like a little scam that you see in town where some guy's selling a, you know, a skin for one million and it's, you know, the market value shows that it's worth two million when you click on it. But if you look at the sales history, it's only worth 40,000 because the guy literally bought every cape in existence and tried to flip it. No, it's not that kind of scam. This one is a massive, massive scam involving over 5,000 people falling for it and 150 billion in silver. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know how this scam ever took, like, how it ever took off, how or why people would believe in this scam, but here goes. The scam was operating a Albion Online bank through Discord, and here's how it worked, here's how they got your money, and here's what happened. So the way it started out was a group of people started a Discord server to operate as a silver bank, and here's what they promised, that if you donated silver into their bank, that at the end of each month, you would receive a 10% interest rate back, okay? And that sounds, well, that sounds a little too good to be true, but here's the thing, though, about this scam is that they actually delivered on their promise for quite a long time until they built up a massive customer base. So here's how it worked. I would open trade with them to the banker in question after joining their Discord and, you know, filling out their little uh, survey and, you know, being registered and using the bot in their Discord server because they had this all set up through bots. And then you would go in game and you would trade them like 100,000 silver. And then after 30 days, or one full month, sometimes months are 31 days, whatever, if you check your account on their Discord, your balance would show 110,000 silver. And then after that, it would be, you know, 121,000 silver because of that, you know, it, it kept building interest on itself, essentially, right? So that means over time, every single month, the earnings that you received would also build interest, and sometimes the rates would go up and down, you know, and, and the way they promised this is that they were taking your money and, may, and flipping the market to make more money. So not only was it like a bank, it was like an investment bank, it was kind of like, hey... You're 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 a, you're an investor. Here's 100k, and um, I expect 10 percent of that back. And whatever else that you make, you profit from, right? And that was kind of their probably maybe original ideal. This was probably a group of people that knew what they were doing with market flipping, and they just needed the capital. So they had, you know, at first it wasn't a lot of people. It's like 100 people here, 50 people here, 100 there, so on and so forth, right? And then the word spread because. You know, you put money in and then over time you were just having more and more and more silver without putting in any work. You just, you gave them silver and then you could withdraw all of it at any time. Like if I wanted to, I could go in their Discord, type in the code to withdraw, and then they would give me all the silver back plus the interest rate plus the earnings, no charges, no fees, no no anything fishy, right? And it was, it was kind of too good to be true because, well, let's say it was, right? Then you started having really, really rich people go in. They would they would put in like, you know, 10 million silver or 50 million silver. And these guys, like I said, they were good at flipping or whatever it is they did to generate money. They were most likely here's what the here's the thing. They were most likely Ponzi scheming it and just using other people's money that was deposited to uh, pay for the interest rates of the really rich people. They were putting in large amounts of silver, right? And and th this went on for a very long time. I think it went on for about a year and a half. And, you know, at, at one point, they had over, like, 5,000 people in their Discord using it on the regular, making deposits, making withdrawals. You know, they must have hi hired people to be the in-game liaison, the, the person that basically operates the bank, giving money here, giving money there. They were never banned. They were, they were, uh, they were talked about on the forums. They were praised. Hey, this is the coolest service ever. You know, this is something that people tend to do in EVE Online or something like that. There were so many pitches and hooks, right? And uh, it, it worked because you could go in, you could deposit money, and they would make more money. Sometimes the interest rate would go up or down. They're like, hey, this month it wasn't so good, so we can only pay a 6% on your total, you know, bank, right? So let's say you had 1 billion silver. Well, you're going to be making 100 million silver a month on average, right? And that sounds really heckin' really good. That, that sounds unbelievably crazy for doing no work, no effort. But one day... The Discord server just disappeared. It just vanished. And people were like, what happened? 
Where's the bank at, guys? Were they Discord banned? Did Discord shut them down? Did SBI ban them from money laundering? Did SBI ban them? Where where are they? What happened? What where are they at? And you know, people started to realize that they weren't banned because if you added the account names of the banks, the bankers to uh, an access point of like like say a chest on your island, you could add names to it, and if a player is banned, the name is removed. Okay. Whereas these bankers that had all this money, they weren't banned. Their names still popped up when you added them to access to your chest on your island. They just, here's the thing, right? Here's the sad truth is that these guys had over 150 billion silver that people deposited, right? And it was becoming a lot of work for them to maintain. I mean, think about it. They had 5,000 customers that they had to constantly withdraw and deposit and then, you know, do the spreadsheets to see how much interest they've earned through the month. And I, I think it became too overwhelming for them. But at the same time, instead of, you know, giving everyone their money back and being like, hey, we can't, we can't operate this anymore. It was fun, guys. See you later. We're going to go play a different game. They did the scam, the rug pull. They did the ultimate thing. And they just deleted the Discord and kept all the money. <laughs> Can you believe it? That is hilarious. That is an amazing, not only is it an amazing scam, but they did kind of, uh, you know, they kind of earned it when you think about it. Like, because Albion's very cutthroat. There's not really a rule against that. It's your own fault for trusting people with your money. You ever see those, like, small time scammers in, in town that's like, hey, um, give me one million silver and I'll give you back two million silver. And there's people every single day that walk up to those guys and they're like, oh, cool. And they just give them a million silver and then the guy just ignores them. The guy just stands there and they're, and they're like, hey, so where's my two million silver? And then he just like, Hey, one million silver. Give me one million silver. I'll give you two million. He's like, hey, where's my money? Where's my money? No. <laughs> and it's totally allowed. It's totally legal within the game's rules. It's insane. It's silly. It's so stupid. And I've actually seen this scam play out in real life. Let me explain. Okay. I used to work in retail. I used to be a manager for retail. And um, these teenage or young adult women would come in and they would see on Instagram, hey, give me money and I'll double it and send it back to you. And what happens is they would go to our service center kiosk and they would do what's called the Western Union, which is a money laundering service. It's a money lending service. You send money all over the world with it, right? And these scammers on Instagram would give them, you know, the address or the info for them to send money to. And these little teeny bopper TikTok girls would come in. And you know they were TikTok girls because they just had that TikTok look, right? And they would... You know, send $500 here, $1,000 there, and then they would stand around and wait for like 30 to 40 minutes on their phone, and I would be like, do you need assistance, ma'am, or miss, or whatever, right? And they'd be like, oh, well, I'm just waiting for my money. I'm just waiting for my money to come back. I'm like, what money? Like, she's like, oh, yeah, you see here? You see on Instagram? This guy said that he can double my money if I send him, you know, $100, he'll send me $200 back, and so on and so forth. I'm like, you realize you got scammed, right? That, you're not getting that money back. And then they bust out crying and they demand a refund. I'm like, well, I can't legally do that. That, that money is gone. And it's just, it's so heartbreaking. And it, but people are stupid, okay? If you're that dumb, you kind of deserve to lose the money. But with that said, um, I didn't use the bank service because I'm not an idiot. And you shouldn't either. That's too good to be true. I mean, what the heck, guys? You, you can't expect to give just some random stranger your money. And they're like, oh, it's like an official bank. It's it's official. It's a bank. And I'm like, bro, the freaking game is your bank. The game stores your money for you. But, 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 but my interest, my interest rate, I was like, it's just some bloke running a Discord that's going to freaking disappear one day with all your money. And there's nothing. You're not going to get it back. But people didn't listen. People thought I was crazy. This was back before I was banned on the official Al Albion Discord. And get this. These advertisements for this bank was on the official Albion Discord. Right? Just in the chat. They're like, hey, check this, check out our banking service. And and the Jannies didn't care. The Jannies didn't do anything to stop this stuff. It's so scummy. If I ran an MMORPG game... I would crack down on these scams. I wouldn't allow these scams. And yeah, that would be a real hassle to deal with to get all that money back to the scammed. Um, but the fact that these, they, they openly advertised it on like every, just, they even joined my server and advertised it. I banned them immediately. I was like, hell 
hell no. Get that shit out of here. And people on my server, on my Discord server, this is a long time ago, by the way, they were like, Soul Bidgey, why did you ban them? What's going on? What happened? That, that was a cool deal. That's totally a legit service, bro. What the hell's wrong with you? You're so weird. And I was like, no, that is not a legitimate service. It may be right now, but one day it won't be. You're gonna, They're going to disappear with all that money. Now, you see, in real life, there's a, an actual law from most governments and most countries that prevent that from happening like say what's a popular bank like chase bank of america wells fargo stuff like that right these ha there, there are federal laws that prevent them from just saying hey sorry uh, we're not a bank anymore we quit and just keeping your money right that's <laughs> that, that would that would cause so much civil unrest but that's not going to happen in real life but there are actual banking services that the people are falling for right now um if you watch a lot of investment channels there are banks virtual online only banks i think even mr beast has shilled some of these virtual only banks on his videos which is very scummy by the way um, and <laughs> um, these banks, they even say in the fine print, they are not an officially sanctioned bank and that if they go out of business or go bankrupt, that uh, they don't owe you your money back. So this scam is happening in real life right now. I'm not going to name names on these companies because they have a large amount of money and could easily shut me down, um, but they exist and they have very high – the same thing. You know, like my, my bank, because I store my money in a bank like any other adult would, I get like a 0.2% interest rate on my money. So I'm making like a few pennies a month from it, <laughs> right? Uh, whereas these these online banks, they're, they're offering like 2%, 5%. I think, uh, you know, they get up there. But who's to say that they just rug pull you and then they're, they disappear? And if you put your life savings into those banks that even in the fine print says they are not an officially sanctioned federal bank that like – I mean right now it's working. But history is going to repeat itself in the real world and these people are going to be out so much money and it's going to be so sad. So guys, I did that and that's it. That's all I've got. I just wanted to tell you about this, um, this wild and wacky Albion online scam and how it relates to stuff in real life and my – experience with it and all the people that got ruined by it. like so many people quit the game over being scanned by it like over 5,000 people use that service and they're just <laughs> gone they probably put all of like if they were stupid they probably put all of their silver in there too like what the heck dude oh man just it's so painful but guys thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you for listening thank you for watching uh, make sure that you like the video. I read every single comment, so feel free to leave me a comment. I may not reply to every comment, but I do read all of them, okay? I make videos every single day, so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss it. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. If you want to financially help me out because I am very poor in the real world, I am on the poverty level here. I make an equivalent to like about three fifty an hour for a 40-hour work week. I'm very, very broke, so please help me out. Send me some money. Click the thanks button down below to leave me a donation. I appreciate it, and maybe one day if I become a big YouTuber, I can pay you back in double. That would be pretty cool, right? That'd be a nice little YouTuber Mr. Beast story, wouldn't it? But uh, <laughs> with that said, also become a channel member. It's five bucks a month. Click the join button down below this video to become a channel member. You will get access to private, more personal videos only available to members. Uh, it's like being subscribed to someone on Twitch, but it's on YouTube, and YouTube is better, okay? I don't care if, you know, they have Twitch drops over there. YouTube is still better, all right? And <laughs> with that said, guys, um, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Mwah.